Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to talk about what to do if your balloon or stent catheter shaft is too short uh, to reach the target lesion. So occasionally during PCI of a native artery via a long torturous graft, uh, you might find yourself in a situation where your balloon or stent catheter shaft is simply too short uh, to reach the lesion. So what do you do? Well, we'll talk about three possible solutions. Uh, the first and easiest uh, is to simply reach for a shorter guide catheter. Uh, most of the standard shapes uh, are available in 90 centimeter lengths. If you don't have a short guide catheter, uh, then another solution is to reach for a shorter Y connector valve. This will buy you a couple of centimeters. Uh, for instance, you can use a shorter TUI, or uh, you can use the cap of a uh, Terumo destination sheath, uh, which I show here. Uh, this is an extremely short uh, Y connector valve, uh, but you do have to be careful uh, not to entrain air uh, during equipment exchanges because uh, it does not easily bleed back uh, via its uh, hemostatic valve. Uh, you'll have to bleed back uh, via the side port. If you need more than just a couple of centimeters, uh, the other option uh, is to shorten uh, your guide catheter. So um, how do you shorten the guide catheter? Well, uh, you'll need a few things. Uh, first, uh, you'll need the guide catheter that you want to shorten. Uh, we'll use a six French guide as an example. And you'll need a dilator uh, that came uh, with the sheath. Second, uh, you'll need a sheath one size smaller uh, than your guide catheter. In our example, uh, we'll need a five French sheath uh, since we have a six French guide. Third, uh, you'll need a dilator one size larger uh, than your guide catheter. In our example, we'll use a seven French dilator. And fourth, uh, you'll need a pair of very sharp scissors. So in step one, uh, cut your six French guide catheter and remove the extra segment. Use your six French dilator to round up the lumen at the cut ends of the two parts of the cut guide catheter. In step two, uh, cut off a segment from the five French sheath. Uh, you'll need this uh, sheath segment uh, to join the two parts of your cut guide. Use the uh, seven French dilator uh, to flare both ends of the five French uh, sheath segment. And in step three, um, insert the two parts of the cut six French guide catheter into the five French uh, sheath segment. The fit will already be quite snug, but obviously torqueability will still be limited. Taping the segments together uh, will improve torqueability a little bit and uh, reduce the chance that the catheter will detach. Uh, this uh, technique can be used to shorten your guide catheter to any desired length. And in CTO PCI, a very short uh, guide is sometimes needed uh, for uh, uh, wire externalization in retrograde cases. This technique can also be easily adapted uh, to lengthen the catheter as well. Thank you for watching.